Hi, and welcome to Two Tired Teachers coming at you from Dinosaur Valley State Park in Glen Rose, Texas. Here you have the visitor center, and when you get there, come on inside. There's a little museum giving you information about the dinosaurs that roamed this area, and I do say past tense because they're not still doing that. Um, but this information, it's, there's a lot in there, especially for such a small welcome center, and they show you what the tracks are like in this area, the ones you're going to be seeing if you hike down to the tracks, and so it gives you a little better idea. There are some little makeshift dinosaurs outside the store. There is a little store here, and the camping area is small. There are just 47 sites, and on the weekends, they're all full. Cool. In the winter, when it's been below freezing for several days, they're mostly empty, yes. <laughs> like they are here. Uh, but they are nice. They have the table, a nice brick or rock um, yes. grill, and or fire pit. Fire pit, and they are kind of close together. But it really is a nice park. Yes. Um, we there enjoy are trees separating. Yes, there are trees separating. We enjoy we enjoy this park. We really do, um, and. I love this trail. It goes from the campsites to the dinosaur tracks. Along the Paluxy. It, it's paved all the way. Yeah, you have this hot top, and there is no real incline or decline. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I would guess it is um, ADA accessible. Yes, in about a half mile. And people with strollers or bikes, yes. etc. It's very user friendly, and it is tree lined for part of the way, and then you get out to just a field that's not. And once you reach the track area, you have to come down some steps here. And this is the Paluxy, and I know if you're Paluxy used, River. Yes, if you're used to a real river, this is not much of one. But pardon the camera work here. I am. This it is below freezing. There's actually ice there. There's ice all the way across the river, and I'm trying very hard to make sure I don't get wet. And so, um, it was a little bouncy here because it's so cold. This is the first time I've ever been here where I was the only person down yes. here. Um, I've been here where there are lines of people, but there's a path on each side of the river. I'm not sure how far the one on this side goes, but the other one uh, is a nice path and goes down to another area where there are tracks. This is the easiest one to get to. And these are the tracks. And um, like I said, it's frozen. You can see that rock is on top of the water there um, that where people have thrown it in. If the tracks are not accessible, they, have, they will post a sign up at the entrance so you'll know. I've been here when the water's been about two feet over those rocks that you have to walk across. And you've been here when it's been empty. Yeah. I mean, and during a drought. During a drought, it's very, very low. And so um, it really varies greatly. But this is a place that people from everywhere, come worldwide, come to see and study these tracks. And... Um, it is a big draw for the little community down there, but it's it's fascinating um, that the limestone or whatever it yes. is, and I'm not a geologist, so if that's wrong, someone please leave it alone and let us know what's right, but the uh, sediment in this area was just perfect for that. And this is, you can kind of see where the ice sheet is across the river there, and you got to realize I'm in Texas. We don't see that very often. So that's why I'm more interested <laughs> in that than this gorgeous path that goes down by the side. And once again, you can see this is very easy to traverse. Um, it's it's a neat area. And people will swim in that during the summer. Yes. Um, and go wading, etc. And this is how far down it is from the parking lot. It's just very accessible and a neat area. And like I said, it was really cold that day, so not a lot of people there. This is the county courthouse for Somerville County. Uh, it's a nice little town. It's the square. Courthouse is on the square. And there's some unique little shops down yes. there, just like there are in, in it, like there are and there in a lot of little a towns. Santa hat on the <laughs> statue. <laughs> um, it's a fun, fun place. And another big draw, and one that is on the river, oh, well, we'll get to that in a second, Fossil Rim. Yes, 
lots of animals. It is a wildlife refuge. That you drive through and can feed the animals. There's feeding. And they expect to be fed. Yeah, watch the <laughs> giraffe here. Uh, they also have tours that you can take. So if you don't want to drive your own vehicle, they have uh, Jeeps. open Jeeps, etc., that you can ride down through this area. Every, it was freezing when we're here, and so I did, we didn't uh, go down through there. We went to the observation center up top, but to give you an idea, we, I've had friends, family that have gone through this, and they all just rave about how great it is. So if you're in the area when it's going to be nice, yes, uh, this is something that's definitely worth your time to come down, and then they do respect authority here. You can see them getting out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, it's a, it is a really neat area, and they were a little bit more active than I thought they would oh, be, yes. as cold as it was. Yes. But uh, it was freezing, and so we decided not to. But Big Rocks Park is on the Paluxy River. I took a picture just to give you an idea how large it is. People swim here, wade. This is a free park. They do have a life vest loaner station, so if you're bringing somebody here that's afraid of the water. Lena, what are you? What are your thoughts of Dinosaur Valley State Park? The big draw, the dinosaur tracks. They were first discovered by a kid in 1909, and since from then until now, people from all over the world have come here to view them. This is relatively close yeah. to where we live, and uh, if you've watched many of our videos, you know that I do have a little motorcycle and. It's just fun to ride down to this area. So I've been down here a number of times. Um, and we've camped here. And we, Oh, yeah, we've stayed here a couple, several times. And um, this, of course, we're in the upper 30s today. This is the first time that I've actually had no one else down there at the tracks when <laughs> I was there. Uh, and able to, but there have been times that those rocks that you're walking across, there are lines of people waiting to go each direction. So this park is a lot of fun. You've got the tracks, yes. you've got some awesome trails. Um, I have shown you just a couple of those. There are, and once again, the, you can look 10. at you can look at this online, but uh, you can't see anything from there. But I'll just tell you, all of them are moderate or easy, and they run anywhere from a quarter of a mile to seven, seven and a half miles. So you have a huge variety of trails to choose from, and there are a lot of people that come down here just to hike. Yes. Um, and we have stayed here, the first time we stayed here, every site was full, and that was at a Christmas break. Yes. And then last year when we stayed here, we got a hard freeze, and I think there was, uh, that was the one where our water line froze. We were here, one other camper and a camp host, and that was it. <laughs> And so uh, we, we had one really pretty day, and we got to hike down to the to the tracks, and it was a gorgeous. gorgeous trail. Gorgeous day. Uh, it, it's it's a beautiful park, but we do want to say, like I said, I've I've been here a number of times, even when we haven't camped here. In the spring, when the weather turns nice, I have waited in a line that's about a half a mile long just to get in the park. And so we want to let you know that this park, um, in the, when the weather's really nice, on the weekends, it's extremely popular. So if you're planning on coming here, there are only 47 campsites. Yes. So you will need a reservation. You'll need reservations well in advance, especially if you're going to be here on the weekends. If you can travel during the week, that would definitely be a better option yes. to come. And, you know, they're, like Not today, the summer. <laughs> today there aren't many people here. We, uh, as you noticed, the river's frozen. At one point, the river's frozen across. Uh, the area where the tracks were were frozen. There was even a, I don't know if you could tell, there's a decent-sized rock there. Somebody had tried to throw and break the ice, and they hadn't. We'd been below freezing for several days. So um, it's not crowded. But um, if you're planning on being here in prime camping season, then you are going to need reservations. Spring, even summer, and fall. And if you have people that are going to be traveling with you who don't have an RV, there are no cabins here, but in Glen Rose. Not that far away. Yeah, I mean, it's just right here. There are a lot of choices of cabins, some bed and breakfast, hotels, um, hotels things like that. And then there's just so much to see in this area. Um, the, 
power plant and we will <laughs> check before we put up the video and let you know if they still do tours yeah it was i don't even know how many years ago now probably 20 or so my mother loved me so much she did not want to go on that tour <laughs> i just thought that would be so much that's why i glow now is because i actually have toured a nuclear power plant um but uh and then fossil rim yes and once again fossil rim folks this is texas if you come in the middle of the summer if you plan on going there you're gonna need to go early in the morning because you know when it's 90 something or 100 degrees those animals are not going to be active but uh also when it's in the 30s they're not going to be <laughs> extremely active as you saw today but uh but that's there it's a really neat thing the promise the creation yes. evidence museum um there are a lot of things to see and do in this area and also just hang out and and camp yes so we hope you've enjoyed our our look at glenrose and dinosaur valley state park and we appreciate uh your watching and thanks for thanks for watching, watching two tired teachers, teachers.